what is going on? Check this out. I heard a YouTuber say this, something similar to this. And I've always thought it like that, but he put it out there. And I just want to touch on it. Because everybody who watch him don't watch me. Everybody who watch me don't watch him. You know what I'm saying? But check it. What if... What if you see a man coming down the street, he say, an alien told me that I need to help people out that's stranded on the side of the road. And you were stranded on the side of the road. Like, man, what are you going to say? He said an alien told him this. You going to be like, really, nigga? Raise an eyebrow at him and be like, yeah, okay. But you might take the help and you might say, hey, no, old fella, I'm good. But now, what if a man come and say, oh, last night I was in the house and I saw Dracula. He flew over my house as a bat and came big. And, and turned to a man and went in somebody's house and killed him. I just closed my blinds. I ain't see nothing. Really, nigga? Right? What if a guy tell you, oh, uh, follow everything I tell you. Because I am Jesus Christ. I am God. Or whatever one y'all want to hear. He tell you that. What you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's get to the, the nitty gritty. What if somebody tell you the Bible says that Jesus said and God said that you should do this and should do that? Somebody say that I was waking up this morning and the Lord told me that I need to come and tell y'all this word today. You gonna clap for it, aren't you? Yes, you will. Yes, you are. Why? Because you was groomed that way from birth to believe. So, why can't you believe none of those other stories? You've never seen an alien, probably. You've probably never seen a ghost. You've probably never seen a werewolf, a vampire, a mummy. Any boogeyman. <laughs> you haven't seen Jesus or God or the Lord. But you choose to believe in what you're told. I can tell you, no, not you, but I could, I could have a child to date and tell that child, Child, uh, Ubuntu <laughs> is this, that, that, and this. You got to follow Ubuntu. That child is going to believe in Ubuntu until somebody else sway him over to believe something else. But if I wasn't around anybody else, kid, we was on another island, Ubuntu is somebody he going to believe in the rest of his life. Because that's how you groom. I'm not trying to tell you that there's no this or there's no that. I'm just puzzled of why you want to believe this and not that. Because you choose to believe what you want to believe? Is that what it is? And you tell me. You tell me what will happen if a man floated out the sky. In the middle of Washington, D.C., just float it down. He say, I'm Jesus. And he start walking towards people. What do you think they're going to do to him? They fixing to arrest him. They going to lock him up. Somebody going to have to question him. Then now they going to know how did he float. And if he can prove he can float again, they're going to tie him up, 
And then they gonna cut him open to see how did he float. Oh my God! Wow! So, that case, Jesus, God, the Lord, is not welcome here on earth anymore. Now, I would welcome, but to the world, they're not going to accept that. Who going to believe it? You have a couple of people that will believe, but the ones that should believe, not going to believe, and they're going to crucify again. He will be locked straight up in jail. You going to eat your cornbread. Believe it or not. But no matter what they do there, the grass going to always be greener on my side.